Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Alex Reynolds and I am your professor for the summer session for adolescent development. Um, my specialty is sleep and cognition, but I do really enjoy teaching this class because um, there's a lot of really interesting material and I really think that um, this is something that a lot of people should take to understand not only themselves, but uh, if you're going to work with adolescents, this is definitely the class for you. Um, so a lot of times uh, people who are interested in working in schools uh, as a teacher, as a guidance counselor, um, or any kind of interest uh, in this particular age group really tend to get quite a bit out of this course. I've even had parents who have teenagers get a lot out of this course. Um, so if this is uh, the age group that you really wanna work with, I highly suggest that you really take your time through all the material and really get a good grasp and good understanding of all of this information. Um, if you're not interested in working with adolescents, it's still a really uh, good uh, course and it's still a lot of information that you can get, get from it. Um, I will say though that it, it is a jammed pack semester. It's five weeks. We cover uh, school, we cover family, we cover things related to religion, drug use, at-risk youth behavior. Uh, we cover quite a bit. There's a lot of reading. There are a lot of videos. There's a lot of lectures, uh, but that is because there's a lot of information here. Um, so one thing that I do want to suggest to you guys as you're moving through this course, um, you know, it is an online course. Uh, there's a lot of sort of self-paced stuff, but I really want you guys to have an open mind. Um, there may be things that you don't know, things that you've never learned before, things that you've never heard of before, uh, and that's okay. That's, that's why you're here. That's why you're learning this stuff, and I want you guys to really keep an open mind, keep an open perspective. We're not here to change any opinions. Your opinion is what it is. What I do want you to have is an educated opinion. And I want you guys to have um, an educated um, mindset. And so I really encourage you guys to keep an open perspective, especially on the forums. Um, don't treat it like a comment section of a Facebook post. You know, try to in engage with others in a respectful way, um, because we're going to talk about a few things that are maybe hot topics, things that people tend to come with a really strong opinion. So make sure you're you keep an open mind on that. Um, when it comes to the course itself. And the reason why I like to do a welcome video is one to kind of introduce me to you because you know you may or may not have had a class with me. Um, I want this to feel more engaging. I want it to feel more like an on uh, a face to face class. Um, I also want to explain in this welcome video a little bit about the course. Um, so it, I'm going to share my screen with you guys so that you can see what I see. Um, when it comes to uh, the Moodle page, so what you'll see here is uh, what the Moodle page looks like. Now, what's really important is that you guys monitor this page uh, regularly. So I'm going to need you guys to uh, check in um, on this page at least daily. Um, I need you guys to be, um, you know, working through the course at your own pace, but also recognize that, that this is such a lot of material in such a short period of time that we would expect you to work at least nine hours a week at the very least um, for, for this class. Um, and so that's gonna require you to log into your email, require you at your university, your college email, um, and also require you to log into Moodle on a regular basis. So. I use Moodle, which is our learning management system, um, very heavily. This is a way for me to get information to you, as well as for you to turn things in um, and to sort of navigate everything that you need for the course. So if uh, you should have received an email from me by now, um, and it has a link to Moodle on there. If you've never been to it before, hopefully you've, you've been on Moodle. Um, if you haven't, you know, there's a link uh, on the email. You can go to the main college page. You can go to the my.uvawise.edu where you go and you actually um, add your classes. There are links there to Moodle. Um, you're gonna 
click on the adolescent development page. And if you scroll through, what you're going to find is the first thing is announcements. And that's where I put anything that's important related to the course. Um, I already have some information on there about the Remind app, which, which um, I use to send reminders through your phone or your email. You can set that up. I don't have access to your cell phone. Um, it will... Um, depending on the settings that you put, it will put that information in there um, and send it however you prefer. I do highly suggest that you get on that um, Remind app so that that way you can hear from me on a regular basis. Sometimes I send reminders outside of emails. So um, the announcement section has that information in there. Um, if you'll notice here, the very first thing you're gonna see is will be the welcome video. So once I'm done with this, I'm gonna load it right above the course syllabus. So you can click on that and look at it. The syllabus, the course schedule, um, all of that information is right on top for you guys to, to, to check out. And I'm gonna talk about those in just a minute. Um, what you'll see here is that the weeks are color coded. So week one is blue. Um, and everything associated with, and I know I'm going through this kind of fast, but I'm just trying to show you guys the color coding. Week two is yellow, um, and then everything associated with that week is yellow. So um, I've set this up basically um, the way that the course uh, schedule is, uh, is reflected on the Moodle page setup. So um, what we tend to do, you can see here, is um, have a set of readings. You'll see that we cover about three chapters a week. There's a quiz per chapter. Um, and then at the end of the week, there is a, an exam covering all three chapters. Um, you'll have a, a, a forum, a discussion forum. Um, so this is all the material. This is the PowerPoint slides. There are a few lecture videos, a few other videos that are outside of of me specifically talking. Um, there's a couple of research articles for you guys to check out, um, especially if it's something that uh, might interest you outside of kind of the scope of the textbook. Um, a lot of just different things here to, to go further into uh, some of the material that the book may not really cover in detail. Now, here you can see that there's forums. There's a, for the first week, an introduce yourself forum, which I'll get to in a minute a question forum, I'll get to that in a minute, and a discussion forum. Every week we'll have a discussion forum. Um, it may have a video associated with it with that you'll need to watch prior to, but you'll uh, have questions that you'll need to answer, and then you'll make a post answering those questions, and then you will reply to at least one other student's post, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, one thing that I do want to bring to your attention here is that the syllabus is loaded um, here, I really highly suggest that you go ahead and look at that first. It is long, but a lot of really important information. Um, it's uh, things like important policies. For example, um, I don't allow any late work. Um, I'm going to switch my screen here so that you guys can see the syllabus. Um, so uh, I'm not going to go through the um, individual um, policies because you guys can read and you guys can go through that. And I think that you guys, you know, should be able to not have any issues with that. Um, I'm, I've shared the schedule. I want to share the, um, I want to share the syllabus. So, um, of course this is, let's share the syllabus, not the course schedule. Here we go. Okay. So, um, the syllabus is long, a lot of important policies. I know we're in a pandemic. I know things are crazy. I know that you guys have a lot going on. I also have a lot going on um, and we're all trying to manage it. Because this is a five week course, I have to be strict on a few different policies because just like you guys, I'm trying to survive. I've got family stuff. I've got lots of things going on. So when you submit something late to me, that means that I am in a crunch to grade it on time so that 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 way I can have your grade in a reasonable time frame. So um, I can't accept anything beyond the deadline because um, I can't grade it fast enough. So in, a, in, in, in any other kind of class, if this was a 16 week class, I could be a lot more lenient on that. And so I just wanna make sure you guys understand that I try to be as accommodating and as lenient as possible. Um, but unfortunately, because of the times that we're in, I, you know, I have to be stricter on some of the, the, the policies. So, um, you know, 
check in with me. If there's something going on, if you have an issue, if there's um, a, an emergency, if there's something, please check with me and, and, and check in with me and talk to me. Um, I'll do my best to help you as best as I can. Uh, but if you, you know, five weeks later say, oh, this thing came up and, you know, I can't really help you if you wait weeks um, to let me know there's something going on. So if you can contact me as soon as possible, I can try to work with you as best I can. Um, but for the most part, you know, I'm trying to, to stay really, um, stay with those deadlines so that that way I can serve you better and get that information graded. Um, so go through the syllabus. Um, like I said, it's long. There's a lot of policies there, um, but it does break down the course. It tells you when everything's due. It tells you when we have things like the live lectures, which I'll get to in just a second. Um, all that information is on the syllabus. All the policies are on there. I do suggest a textbook. Um, and so that information is a Sandrock adolescence textbook. You can get an earlier edition. That's fine. You can get ebook, you can get hard copy. Um, in a face-to-face -face class, it's not as important to me that you have the textbook because you can ask me questions and you're seeing me multiple times a week. But in an online condensed class, like a summer class, I encourage it more that you buy the textbook so that you can read it. Um, that way it's supplementing the information that I'm giving you. Um, however, um, if you, uh, you know, if you don't want to purchase the book because it's too expensive, or if you go through the first week and feel like you've got everything and you're reading all the material on Moodle and you don't feel like you need it, I'm not going to check to see if you get it. So if you get the book, it's up to you. Um, I do encourage it more for online classes because it's a good supplement to what I'm giving you. Um, but you know, that's, that's up to you. Um, Earlier editions are fine. Um, you might find that the chapters are off a little bit uh, if you get a really early edition. That's fine. Just make sure you keep up with the content. Um, I do want to make sure you guys know that you know I have a very strict cheating, no cheating policy. That's also in here along with some information about um, uh, just the class in general. Um, but I do have a very strict no cheating policy. Um, you should be working on everything independently, the quizzes, tests, especially. Um, you guys uh, need to make sure that everything that you submit for this class is for this class, not something that you that you did for another class and are submitting for this one. Um, if you do cheat, that's a zero on the assignment, possibly an F in the course and sent to honor code, uh, honor court for honor code violation. So please make sure you work on this information in this uh, material on your own. Um, you know, what, what, everything that you do for this class is for yourself. Everything that you're learning is for you. It's to build a foundation about learning about this developmental period of adolescence. Um, you get out of this, what you put in it. So it's on you to learn it. Um, so I do highly suggest, and it's all very, really interesting information. So I really highly suggest that you put the effort in. Um, so I do suggest that you read the syllabus all the way through. Um, like I said, it's a long, a lot of policies, but most of your questions, if not all of your questions, will probably be answered by the syllabus. Um, I also have the course syllabus, and that's something that I want to um, share with you guys. Um, the course uh, the course schedule. The course schedule is a really, really good document to help you stay on track. Um, and what this is, is um, some uh, your hard and fast deadlines. And this is something that you will actually see on Moodle that that's on the color coded parts, but also suggested deadlines. So um, I put these suggested deadlines because this is so much material and I don't want you to feel so overwhelmed. Everything for most of the weeks is due on Sunday. And that is a hard and fast deadline. So it's Sundays, 11.55 PM. Um, if you, you know, wait to the last day to do the work, and let's say at 11.50, you go into the exam one. Um, you have five minutes to complete it. At 11.55, it cuts off. If you're in the middle of doing a forum post and you um, submit it past the deadline, it won't get graded. So make sure that you pace yourself. Um, it can be very overwhelming because when you click on Moodle, the whole class is available. All the material is available. All, everything's open. And so I don't want you to get overwhelmed by that. Um, so I want you guys to do things like take the suggested deadlines, like um, this, for example, chapter one quiz, I suggest to complete it by Wednesday. 
put that in your cell phone to, to ping you and send you a reminder, hey, on Wednesday, let me do this. If you put all your deadlines in on Sunday, then it's going to be too late. And by the time you realize that you've got to do something, it's going to be you know, not enough time for you to read through the material. So if you put these suggested deadlines in your phone, in your calendar to send you reminders, then you can stay on top of all the material and you won't feel so overwhelmed. Um, you know, make sure that you don't cut it too close. You can absolutely work ahead, um, especially on the quizzes and the exams. Although I do suggest that you pace yourself with the forums and some of the questions that you might ask because that may be something you need for the exam or something you need for the quiz. So I would suggest, yes, you can absolutely work ahead. Just be you know, cautious about working too far in, in advance, especially if you need to do a forum reply and nobody's been on the forum yet. So if everybody you know, wants to work ahead, that works for the whole class. But if only one person does it, there's only so much that you can do while, while working ahead. Um, now, uh, I do want to talk to you guys about some of the forums. So here you can see uh, there's a something called a question forum, question and answer forum that's due on Thursday. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on in this in a, in a minute, but these are due on Thursday so that I can do um, sort of an answer video on Friday. So um, everything else is due on Sunday. Um, that's the only thing that you're going to see that that is due kind of weird. And um, that's going to make it a little bit harder to work ahead too far ahead on things because um, you may have a question that needs to be answered uh, before the end of the week. Um, I do do live stream lectures and I do them once a week, every Friday. The live stream lecture is an answer video to the question forum. So if you have a question, you do not have to have a question every week. If you have a question on the material, that's a legitimate question, not like, what is adolescence, right? It's something that's a legitimate question based on the material, or you don't understand something, or you want to expand on something. Like maybe you read something in the chapter and you're like, I want to know more about this. Ask the question on the question forum by Thursday. That should give you enough time to have at least gone through some of the material and to generate a question if you have it. And then on Friday, the next day, I take all the questions and I do a video like this, a live stream Zoom lecture where I answer those questions live. You do not, and I repeat, you do not have to view this live. It is not mandatory to view live. I do them Fridays at three. If nobody asks any questions, I don't do a live stream lecture because I have nothing to talk about. You guys generate these questions for me. I will spend the Friday 3 p.m. lecture going through and answering those questions. I also record the video. So that way, if you have um, work or you're busy or you forget or whatever, and you asked a question, you can go back and view the recorded lecture that I did live, but you couldn't view live. And so that way you can have your question answered, or maybe you don't have a question, but, but want to see what somebody else asked because maybe you didn't even realize you had not no knowledge of that. Now, if you can view it live, that's great because then whether or not you ask the question, if that generates more questions, you can ask that either through chat or through video, and I'm happy to engage in a discussion and further answer those questions. So it makes it feel more like a face-to-face -face class if you come in on a live stream lecture, if you feel lonely, and you want to engage a bit, come in on the live stream lecture and we'll chat, right? We'll talk about the material. If you're confused about something, we'll talk about the material, but you do not have to view it live, okay? Um, I will post those on Moodle as I do them. So usually Friday night, they're up on, on Moodle. Um, so I also use Zoom for our office hours. Um, if you need to talk about the material, if you need, if you have questions about your grade that you don't either feel comfortable emailing or you um, want to talk, you know, uh, sort of face to face, um, I'm happy to do that through through Zoom. So if you want to talk about the material, about your grades, about anything that you need, please um, set that up with me. I'm happy to uh, set that up through email. So like kind of an appointment. I need a little bit of notice for that. Um, now. Uh, assignments. So 
one thing that you'll notice is that you do have something, um, uh, you have a couple of, of, new, of different things do the first week compared to the rest of the weeks. The first week you have something called an introduce yourself forum, that's mandatory. Um, I will have you administratively withdraw, withdrawn from the class if you don't do that po post because one, I wanna make sure you know how to do a post, two, I wanna know who you are, um, and three, I wanna make sure that you're actually in engaged in the class. So um, if you're, if you've disappeared, then um, you can't, then, then you, you're not enrolled in the class. So I want to make sure that, you know, you guys take the, take a moment, literally takes five minutes. Just tell me, you know, like something interesting about yourself, who you are, where you're at right now. You might not be in wise. I understand that. Um, and also it lets your classmates kind of get to know you. You can, uh, talk amongst yourselves. You can say hey to everybody. That's fine um, on their post, but I need you guys to at least do the introduce yourself forum that first week um, within the, the week. So before the Sunday deadline. So that's something that you have to do. Um, the second thing you have to do is a syllabus quiz. So this is literally you looking at the syllabus and the course schedule looking through it and answering just a few questions. You must make 100% on it. So um, it is mandatory that you not only take it, but make 100%. And if you don't do the syllabus quiz, then I'll have you withdrawn from the course. The reason why I need you to do the syllabus quiz is so that I know that you read it and you understand the policies. It's kind of like a contract between you and I. I want to make sure that you know, you know what is expected of you and that you know what's expected of me and that you understand when everything is due and what you should and shouldn't do. So please do those two things. Make sure that you um, do them before Sunday and that way um, you can have it done out of the way and you know continue with the material. So that's due Sunday, the first week, um, as you can see here, July 12th. Um, one thing I do want to kind of remind you guys, and I have suggested completion dates for the discussion forum posts, um, don't wait until the last minute to do the post because people need to reply to you. So if you want to engage in a good discussion and conversation that isn't just, hey, that's a good point, that's not a good discussion post. On Moodle in the um, section of the syllabus uh, uh, and course schedule section, you'll see discussion rules. And, uh, and guidelines, and I want you to read that. It's a rubric of how I grade your, your discussion posts. Um, I want you to engage in conversation. I want you to think about things. I want you to talk to each other. Um, so make the post earlier so that people can reply to your posts. Um, I won't comment on every single post, but I will be monitoring them. Um, I'll monitor them to make sure that we're engaging in conversation, that everybody's being kind and polite. Remember that these posts are not anonymous. Um, if you troll people, if you are rude, if you call each other names, and if you're not, you know, civil, I can report you as an honor code violation is creating a hostile environment. I don't want to do that. You know, let's not treat these as Facebook comments. Let's treat this as an actual engaging conversation. It's okay to have a different opinion. I expect everyone to have different opinions. And I, and I embrace that. I want it to be an educated opinion. We don't have to agree, but we can absolutely 100% engage in a good conversation and, in, and be in a, in a civil, engaging way. Um, we, can have differing in, uh, opinions that are educated, and that's that's great. Um, but I do want you guys to keep an open mind, and I want you guys to be open to other people's perspectives, okay? Regardless of what your opinion is, I want you to listen to others, because that's how we learn. Um, you know what? Your opinion may never change. That is awesome. Cool. But as long as you are open to thinking about other people's opinions, and experiences and don't discount them, but say, let's think about this. That's all that I ask of you, okay? That's all that I ask is that we are engaging and we ask questions and we're critically thinking about what's going on around us. I know that many people are in not the best situation right now. And I do want you guys to get the most out of this as best as you can. I know that everybody's doing what they can right now to make this work. And I really hope that we are all open. And I know that sometimes um, people take things out on others because something else is going on. And I do ask that you try your best to realize that we're all human. 
none of this is anonymous. Everybody's kind of coming in on this and everybody's kind of experiencing this as well. So I do ask that you please keep an open mind um, and that you engage with each other. And um, I look forward to a really great uh, semester. Um, I do hope that we can all learn from this and that we can all uh, be more educated on adolescent development and that you guys get a lot from this. Um, and I look forward to a really, really fun and engaging semester. So um, welcome to the course. Hope we all have a great time and email me if you have any questions whatsoever.